Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's been so long. Uh, we've been doing these streams and they're actually really useful. So basically, if you've got a scripting uh, idea or something that you just need for making and uh, you can't do it, um, if you come to the stream and ask, then we might, we might be able to make it for you. It's really helpful for you guys, but yeah. Um, we've been doing that recently, um, but it's nice to be back doing the videos because um, they're just a lot less stressful. You know, 10 people asking you questions at the same time. Um, we usually did them weekly though, uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday, but yeah, they're good. And uh, if you're on a Discord server, then uh, they'll be scheduled in there for you, so you can see when the ones coming up. Anyway, um, in this video we'll be looking at a quick respawn system, this is a super basic system. Um, but it's actually quite useful for games, you don't want that like five, ten seconds, um, like time where you just need to for spawn time and um, it just removes that completely so if you see it's super quick and it just works perfectly and anyway let's get started and just get straight into it okay so now in our roblox studio world i'm in here i'm hoping your world looks slightly more interactive than mine however it's fine if it doesn't for this um, for this tutorial we're only going to be using the server script service so let's start by inserting a script into there. I'm just going to name it Quick Respawn. I'd recommend naming all the scripts in there, otherwise you might have an issue in the future. The first thing we're going to do is get our player service, as we're only going to see when a new player joins. Um, we're not going to test anything else like the use inputs that other services use. Now we're going to make a function called the new character function. So whenever um, a new character is loaded into the game, um, it's going to run this. Well, we're going to make our code that runs this later on. But whenever a new character runs the um, joins the game, we're going to get their humanoid. <laughs> the way that we're going to do the quick respawn is basically when a humanoid dies. So humanoid, you know, is, is your character. Um, whenever that dies, it's going to reload the next character, so it's going to give you another one instantly. So instead of having to wait that five seconds of like load time, which Roblox does it automatically, we're just going to skip that and say when a player dies or when their humanoid dies, it's going to generate a new one instantly. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to link this new character function you know so actually so when a new character joins the game or you know is respawned then um it, it that gets run so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a new player function you might be asking oh wait but you've just said you we need to run this function but the only way we could do that is by having a new player function as well so when a player joins the game they might already have a character because Roblox is just weird. Um, so let's say they already have a character when they join the game. Because normally it takes a couple of seconds to, to the character to join. But if they've already got a character, then we're going to run this function with them as well. Now in this function here, let's say... If, um, now let's say um, they respawn with a new character. Then this is going to basically say whenever a new character is added into the game for a particular for, for that particular player, then it's going to get that, and then we're just going to run that same function on it. Okay. So basically, it's saying whenever um, a player respawns its character, it's going to run this new character function. And let's say a player joins the game with a character, then it's also going to run it. <coughs> now we've had this um, the same script in here for a couple of tutorials now, so I'm sure if you're up to date with the channel, you'll know what this is. But basically, um, it's our in-game startup players scripts. So basically, let's say if you've got a really laggy game for some reason, I'd recommend sorting that out. But let's say if you do, um, let's have a script that that will cause this script. So let's say it take a couple of seconds to actually load up. Now that's not what we want because let's say if a script takes five seconds to load up and a player joins in that time, 
then this player added function is not going to run because this player added function only runs when a new player joins the game. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, see all the current players in the game when the script actually loads up. Now that's super easy to do um, with this script here. So this going gets all the players in the game when the script starts up. And then it loops through all the players in the game when the script starts up and then runs that new player function on them. And after it's run, it then deletes the table. So that's super easy to do and that works perfectly. Now let's test it. Jumping into our studio world here, let's reset and they respawn instantly. Again, normally in Roblox you'd have like a five second respawn time, but that removes it completely. Now this is super easy to set up in your game. Thank you guys for watching. If you need any help, um, let's say for some, you know, you messed up some code, we've got a Discord server and you should ask in there. Uh, it's all in the description and um, we've got a really helpful um, support form. Uh, if you also want a suggestion of a video suggestion, that is the place to ask. And all this, the script in this video will be available on that Discord server as well. So I definitely recommend having a look at that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.